Object inspectors are very helpful for testing. So, opening uh, the uh, online shop project, an instance of uh, sales item can be created and then uh, inspected. And with this, um, the uh, comments list can be checked uh, whether it has been created, so it's not null, uh, and has a size. And it should grow uh, when uh, the, the, the list should grow when uh, uh, comments are added. So uh, inspect the object, then the field comments is not null, uh, then the limit is open. Uh, looking at the size. Now it's zero because the list is empty. It can be changed by adding comments. Um, an essential component for testing classes with uh, uh, the, the data structures uh, is to check that uh, the, uh, for both uh, when the data structure is empty and if uh, uh, if it's uh, relevant uh, when the uh, data structure is full. For example, uh, for an array uh, uh, that has a limited um, size, a maximum size, uh, the, the uh, case when the array is full uh, must be checked. Uh, but in this case, since uh, the data structure is an array list, uh, it uh, uh, grows accordingly, uh, it doesn't have a limit, um, and so only uh, the um, case when the uh, list is empty should be checked, but it, uh, it must be checked because uh, it is a special case and so it should have this special treatment. Um, then uh, a good uh, um, uh, testing is uh, checking uh, for boundaries, uh, for uh, uh, things that uh, have um, a range uh, in which they work. Uh, for example, uh, in online shop, the rating is from 1 to 5, and so uh, it should be uh, the uh, ratings one and five should be checked because uh, it, they are boundaries for uh, the ra ratings. Um, they are the minimal and the maximal ratings, uh, uh, and so not not just the uh, middle ratings should be checked, but also the minimal and the maximum. Uh, the um, initial tests that can be uh, made uh, uh, in um, sales items, uh, sales item is to uh, check if the show info uh, works uh, correctly, uh, so it displays uh, the comments uh, and all the info about the item, and uh, then for uh, for for the 
the, 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 this project at the um, initial test that can be made are uh, those that uh, are in the exercises, in the following exercises, and uh, they, uh, if done properly, will uh, show two bugs. Uh, so, uh, the first uh, test was uh, to add these comments, right? Uh, I remember well. So, add comments, okay. And so, keeping an eye on the respect to the comment list, that's what we have done. Uh, size should increase. Uh, but uh, I didn't check the, uh, I didn't inspect the element data. So uh, it seems that okay, uh, this is the first comment, and the others are not there. Uh, but if I add a new comment. Uh, and then it should show up there uh, instead of null it should be a reference to the comment And okay, it works. Then check the show info, interest information, including the comments. And I have to try report uh, with and without. So, yes. Show info. It works. It displays all the information, the name, the price, the comments, and the two comments with all the information in it. Uh, but what without comments? Create a new sales item. Uh -huh. uh, it's an item. And so it displays just the name and the price without comments. Then check the number of comments works as expected. So here it should be zero, and it is zero. Here it should be two, and it is two. Now check, okay, comments by the same authors are rejected. This means that uh, add comment method should return false and check that the comment was not added to this. So add comment. So it returns false, the argument method, uh, and in the inspector it was not added.
now bundle checking for ratings so moment is the maximal boundary and it was added true now Put the minimum bound, it also works. Okay. Okay, yes, good boundary testing also involves testing values until I just be on the range of data. So, uh, test 0 and 6. And, and I don't have just to check that comment will be forced, but also that comment is not added to the comment list. Okay, we have it here. Oops. Hmm, that's true, and the comment is added. So it doesn't work correctly. Test six and it returns false, and the comment is not added. Test upload comment and upload comment. So make sure the vote balance is correct. Don't it? So up for one two three four three. It's three. Now use a put comment and download comment to mark some comments as more or less helpful and test find most helpful comment. So it should uh, return an object reference. Yeah.
И тук нямам и чисте коректори. So, upload to download zero. So, uh, index one, so the rating by Catherine should be uh, the most helpful. Okay, so it has reference. Inspect. And it is scattering. So it works. No. Boundary testing. Find most helpful comment. And the comment list is empty. Here the comment list is empty. And it doesn't print anything. So here is an error. So there are two bugs. Okay, it was the minimal boundary beyond the valid range of data. It's exercise 7.6. And X7.9 boundary testing on find most helpful comment for the comment when the comment list is empty. I didn't check for when uh, there is not I mean, there are multiple helpful comments. So fix them, and then is it safe to assume? Okay, I can to fix them first. Um, first, I want to check also what if I have all comments that I have a rating of three. So let's see. We have to upload zero four times. And uh, the second two times. And third and fourth three times. And okay, now all of them are the most careful comment. Okay, it returns the first one. Now to fix the ratings. It's in the comments. Mm 
Add comment that is responsible for things. Oh, it's not here. Mm. So if rating is valid, so uh, there is a method rating is valid. Everything should be greater or equal to zero and less than five. Then for the other one. What about is this the final health comment? So it should be, I think, if it has next. Hmm. But I don't know, it can be done also in here. I can put this in here.
Let's check. Now six is true. Mm, shouldn't be. Anything in vanity. Waiting, not less than five. Ah, when it is invalid, not when it is valid. Oh, okay. So first it was anything is less than zero or rating is greater than five. It should be N. Rating is no, it is all Maybe less than zero or greater than five. No, I don't remember how it was before. Uh, let me see if I can try to find how it was before. No. Oh, first it was rating greater than zero, and he said it should be less than zero. Okay, so that, that was wrong. Okay. So it should be less than zero. Or greater than five. Now it should work. Mm. 
zero. It is valid. Yeah, how can it be? Rating less than zero or greater than five. Less than five. Or not should be end here. Aha, uh -huh. it should be end here. Yeah. Yeah, now it, yes, it should be both less than zero and greater than five. Yes, that was the end. It still adds it. And rating, rating less than zero. Oh no, less than one. Oh. <laughs> Item. Again, true. No. Should be less than one and greater than five. It should be end or or. Um, rating less than one. So if the rating is zero, it will be less than one, so it's true. But it's not greater than five, so it's four. So it returns false. It's not invalid. Oh, then it's then. It's not then. It's so. Now zero false. Okay, and it wasn't added 
a second one. No. Now, test for six. not added. Test for 1 and 5 also. This is added. Added. And something in the middle. Then uh, the other bug was the comments, final circle comment. When there is no comment, so no society. Okay, so so is it safe to assume that uh, all previous tests will still work as before? Uh, no, because uh, as uh, um, it was said before, uh, if uh, some part uh, changes, uh, the test should be repeated. Uh, because the, the, uh, the errors in some uh, unit uh, can uh, mm, modify the correctness in some other units. And so, section seven point four, we talk about the testing issues and um, the method invocation and uh, uh, the instance uh, inspector uh, are um, uh, very good options uh, to um, find interactively um, the state of an object and uh, test uh, some of the, uh, its parts mm, I think that's it um, yeah, I will print it gives me it gives immediate feedback uh, because uh, mm, it uh, can be checked interactively and um, uh, it avoids print statements for testing. Uh, 